good morning students today we will learn how to draw isometric view of a cone so let me write down the question first so question is draw isometric view of a cone of dia 40 mm and height 50 mm so first of all we have to draw isometric of a square whose side will be equal to the dia of the cone which is 40 mm so what we will do we will use scale align your scale with the help of this grid and draw a thin line of around 3 4 cm then choose one dot on that line and place your protector and draw two lines at 30 degrees on both side of the dot marked by us so you see this is 30 degree and this side 30 degree then what next draw those two lines and make sure these lines must be continuous thin and at the start you can draw these lines of any length then what next we have to see what is the dia of the cone dia of the cone is 40 mm so what we will do we will open compass to the same distance that is 40 mm and place your compass on this point and cut these two axes to 40 mm now what next from these two points we have to draw two more arcs keep everything thin at the start now we will connect these points to complete the isometric of a square so this is isometric of a square whose side is 40 mm now what next we have to mark the midpoints of all these sides so right now each side is of 40 mm so we will mark at 20 mm that will be the midpoint of each side so open your compass to 20 and cut all sides to 20 mm prefer compass for making these midpoint marking these midpoints then after that we have to apply four center method so name of the method is four center method so meaning of this is uh, you see in this particular uh, isometric of the box of the square we have four center uh, four corners 1 2 3 4 and we have to target only those two corners where angle is more than 90 you see over here angle is more than 90 this is having more than 90 degree angle so we will label this corner as first center and this as second center then what we will do from first center draw a thin line to the midpoint of opposite side so let us align these two points so draw a very thin line here similarly from the same center draw another line to the midpoint of opposite side repeat the same step from center number 2 that means we will draw a thin line to the midpoint of opposite sides so in this manner we will generate two more centers so we will call this as center number 3 this is center number 4 now we will make use of these four centers to draw four arcs which will form a ellipse so next step is we should uh, place compass at this center and take this as radius and draw the first arc keep everything very thin at the start so use the second center and same radius draw the second arc thin then use this particular center this center 
and radius will, will be equal to this so place your compass at the center and draw the third arc now use this center and radius equal to this which is same as that of the previous step So in this way we will be able to generate an ellipse. So at the start we are keeping everything uh, thin because when we, when we will complete the isometric of the cone that will hide a few edges. So we have to show those hidden edges thin. Next step is we have to locate the center of this particular uh, isometric of the square and uh, we have to generate the height of the cone. So what we will do let us first locate the center of the cone of the uh, box. So for that align your scale to the midpoints of opposite sides and draw a thin line and here as well another thin line. So these two center lines will give you a center of the box. From this center we will draw a vertical line which will be equal to the height of the cone which is 50. So place your scale at the center and align your scale with the grid so that it should be vertical there should not be any error. Then from this uh, center draw a thin line of 50 millimeters, which is equal to the height of the cone. Now this point is called as apex. From this point we will draw tangent to both the curves. So align your scale with that uh, apex and uh, your scale should be tangent to the arc. So draw a thick line here. Similarly align your scale with the apex and the tangent here so in this manner we will generate slant edges of the cone now we have to make this portion of the curve and this complete portion of the curve and this portion thick again we will make use of compass so place your uh, compass at center number one and open equal to this radius and make this curve thick then this is center and remake take this as radius and make this particular portion of the curve thick up to the tangent similarly here and this portion of the curve should be thick now you see we are done with the isometric view of the cone so now we have to place the dimensions so what, what we will do we have to place isometric dimensions so for that what you need to do line your scale with the, this particular axis and leave one of them gap here and continuous thin line which is called as extension line so again line your scale with this axis one millimeter gap continuous thin line extension line now you should use roller scale or uh, if you have a, have a drafter you can use that also right now I don't have drafter or roller scale so what you need to do you if you are using roller scale align your roller scale with this particular axis this axis and roll back by 10 millimeters 10 or 15 millimeters and draw a thin line and uh, this is called as dimension line and uh, on both sides of this dimension line draw closed field arrowheads in 3 ratio 1 so on the top of this line we will mention its dia, dia 40 then we need to place the height of the cone for that align your scale with this center line 1m gap here and thin extension line now use your roller scale align to this particular line and roll to this particular axis so that this line should be parallel to the previous one these two lines should be parallel then choose this particular column and draw a thin vertical line which is dimension line and add arrowheads on both sides so over here we will mention its height which is 50 mm so erase the extra extension lines so dear students we are done with the isometric view of a cone i hope this lecture will be helpful for you thank you very much